so here he goes. We're, we're right. allowing go to ground, and so he gets feel no pain. Uh, I'm, and so I'm okay. Six up, save, I'm okay go to ground. That. Okay, there's um, one. So there's one, one guy so lives far. instead of six guys and dying. Now I got feel no pain. Yellow's on the Just priest, by five the way. Up. Okay, and that's there's one. So two guys survived. All right, that's fantastic. All right. So I may actually, now that this has happened, I may actually use running to reposition my guys to a better situation here and just charge in with the Shrikes because the Shrikes are the thing I want to get out of this triple play of doom that's going to happen. Okay, so, uh, so shooting phase? Uh, yeah. Gone, a thing on, on Ruby models, you should have gone closest further in, to further Is back. it a shooting tack? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Oh. All right. So well, you know, it. don't don't worry about it. I'm I'm actually okay. So um, yeah, let let's let's move on. Okay. So um, take him where was I? Still lost. Yeah, twenty five percent. Yep. Okay. Go we ahead. Do I see your shooting first? Then. Do I? Okay. Great. Uh, paroxysm on them. That'll reduce their weapon skill to one. Okay. Okay. So that as the psychic test makes it. Now I need to hit him with a shooting attack, for which I hit. Okay. So I'm gonna roll my deny the witch. Okay. okay. All right, so uh, what is it? I mean, okay. weapon skill one? Weapon skill one. Weapon skill and ballistic skill one is what that is. Okay, Tyranid two. Oh, wait a minute. Shooting phase, I can do run. And uh, so okay. I'm going to run the gene stealers, and they're going to run four inches. I'm going to run this guy, and he's going to run six inches. That's helpful. And um, this guy did a shooting attack, right? And these guys already did run, technically. Um, so uh, now I'm just going to do... And I actually, I rolled my runs over here just for the sake of simplicity. Okay, and um, so uh, I should probably resolve that. Okay, we, there is one more casualty here because red thirst makes them fearless, and that would mean no go to ground. So I, I just want to point out something really important, which is <laughs> when I play a game where I'm looking up every single rule because I want to get it right, that's good. That's good at first. But, uh, yeah, the casual game, just fly through it. Just fly through it and have a good old time. Be a sport. Okay, but there is something to, to be said for knowing your rules and not messing everything up. So these guys are charging in here, and here it goes. Uh, now, they're jump infantry. Does that give them an extra dice or something? Best two uh, out of three? Well, it doesn't matter. I rolled a nine. So in they go, closest to closest. I'm going to shoot the rest. you. I'm ready. Here comes the overwatch. That's a six. That hits. Oh, no kidding. All right. Yep. Uh, no. No one. Sad. So my objective is to get, well, they get to move nine. So I guess we'll just bunch around here. It'll be all right. Okay, here we go. Because I want to get as far over there as possible. Okay, so let's do assault phase. Okay, here comes uh, 20 attacks. Weapon skill is five. So three ups. Oh, that's right. You're one for paroxysm. Okay, fantastic. And um, I don't have uh, scything talons or any. Oh, no, I automatically have scything talons. Oh, I should be re rolling once. I don't know how many that was. Let's just say it's three. Okay, three ups. So I convert one more. So here it comes. And these are power weapon attacks, right? So, from Bone Sword. I don't know what the updates are on that, but okay, I think he's toast. All right, consolidate. So, again, I, I want to be far away from them, them, and them. So, my best bet is to consolidate that way. And I'll be consolidating uh, consolidate six inches. First, Bam. All right, let's take a look at the board. Uh, we've got, Ren's got his work cut out for him. He could clean these guys up. Um, and, it, and it's it's a tough call. If he ignores them, they're a scoring unit. And don't forget to roll reserves for these guys. And the reserves, I'm pretty sure, are three up now for turn two. We better yeah, look at that. Also did a re-roll because of the angels. Oh, fantastic. So that makes them extremely reliable. And uh, I'm just kind of consolidated up here right in the middle. Um, if you measure out what I consider to be the 20-inch safety range, uh, they're in range of the gene stealers. And um, these guys are probably, yeah, they probably could get the shrikes too. They go, they jump 12 and charge in. The, the problem is 
uh, oddly that you'll probably end up something like this. To jump up there, it's going to end up on top of this, and then that's difficult terrain now to get down here. So difficult terrain and the charge of nine inches or eight inches is going to make it uh, really quite, quite a toughie to get up there. So I'm probably, I'm probably looking good against this unit right here. Uh, but um, it's, it's a tough call. A good move for Astarath might be to jump up here, wipe these guys out, right? But then there's, there's the doom. the doom. On a bad roll, the Doom can just slurp that unit into oblivion. And the Shrikes have a pretty decent... They, they have the same threat range as the Jump Pack guys. By the way, don't, don't let me keep you from taking your turn and moving and stuff. I'm just, I'm just filling up, I'm just I just filling gotta, up the space. Do Fill up the space. Okay, so go ahead. Let's roll it. Just see if it's a four up and if it matters. Okay, let's call it a three. Reroll, just in case. Okay, just, just so, case. Just so the yeah, nerds can feel go, happy. Go. And I say nerd with respect, folks. And you might think I'm kidding right now, but I don't. I think generally people who play war games are uh, people who think outside the box or who uh, are unconventional about uh, their form of life, and quite frankly, I think that's great. That's a virtue in my book. So, away we go. Oh, Ren, what are you going to do to clean me up? That's tough. <laughs> All right, Blood Angel's turn two. We're deep striking here. So you put one guy down. Put one guy Where down. you want him, you oh, roll the scatter dice in 2d6. 1d6 for Blood Angels. Angels. Good for you. So five right. inches this way, that's actually not bad. That is not bad. Now, after you do that, you can run. So now, an interesting feature here is these guys are out of synapse range. And there are three casualties is going to force these guys probably off the board. So that is, that is not, the only argument might be that cover or area terrain might be like underneath here. So there's that. Uh, but technically on this board, there is no true area terrain. Uh, we've always just played it, you know, almost a little RPG style. Uh, but the, yeah, these termagants could be wiped out, and that's one less scoring unit for Sean. But I also might note that because I've maintained everything in the middle, these guys can turn pretty quickly. Actually, is that all your movement? Uh, You're just getting started well, with your do, movement? I have to do Malad, uh, Terrify. Do you know what I love about Ren? Is that it's, here's somebody who plays slower than me. So I don't feel like I'm just law. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. No. Yeah, I, Ren did have to wait like two and a half hours for me yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Thomas is like, ugh, I feel your pain. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. It's all right, Tom. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Doing, right. Terrifying. Okay, let's go. Strikes. I'm ready. Oh, no! I won't allow that. No, you're going to fail. Uh, okay. okay. All right, so they're terrified then. They lose uh, fearless. Yes, and they need okay. to take a morale check. They need to take a morale check. Well, they don't like that. Do they get his morale? Well, they <laughs> okay, that's an terrified. eight. Okay, so ten passes, but, uh, boy, that makes the strikes real vulnerable. So they are, they are terrified. I don't like that. Nah. I don't like it one single bit. Yeah, let's wipe those strikes off the face of the planet. That's happening. A noble knight swear fealty to a squire. You're right. I'm not yet a knight. You will knight me. Okay, look what Ren's doing. Look at, how, look, at how, look at how devious he is. He's switching it up. So these guys are skipping. So they move over here. And so these termagants, these guys are toast. Even if they were in synapse range, they're, they're not going to last. But, but see, Rin is like, he's scattering his forces. Look how scattered. He has this over here, and then that, and that, and that. He's all over the board. So, and, if, and if I can just pick him off, just pick him off. That's what I was hoping to do. So what's your strategy over here? You're, he, he's trying to take the Shreks. Oh, gonna You're going to take him. He thinks they're going to die. Okay. 
All right. Well, I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's toast. I think the shrikes are awesome. Okay, what's okay. next? All right, so we got shooting yeah. dice. Uh, More so dice rolling, Ren. Can you please roll some dice? Didn't pass it. Hey! Who's button? I accept. I accept good things that happen to me. Okay, so I got uh, okay, one, two, I'm ready. Three, four pistols. Okay, this is to mark a thing on the brood lord. Okay, go ahead. Uh, three hits. Okay, I'm ready. And one wound. One wound. So the brood lord has to take it. He's got a four up, which he makes. Okay. Aha! He thinks not of your pistols. I'm shooting over here. By the way, I'm going to kill this entire unit with just those three guys. Just so you know. Just letting you know that's Five. what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, and this over here. Okay, um, one, right. two, three. And no doubt he's within six inches here, but see, this will peel off the front guys, so yeah. that won't that won't really matter. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ren, roll faster! Shoot. Oh, he's not going to shoot. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so contrary to what I predicted, instead of shooting the termagants, he's shooting with the he's shooting the gene stealers, those guys. But that's really that's really awesome because this is six inches, right? Did yeah. you measure that at some point in time to assure that it was six inches? Oh, what if it's not? I want to measure it right now because I'm allowed. Yeah, it's within six inches. Rats. Okay, I'm ready. That's three pistols. More rolling. One pistol shot. One Toughest pistol. four. Oh, that's a wound. Okay, so one guy takes a wound. From the flamethrower. Okay. Okay, strength four, toughness four. Two so wounds. Two wounds. And then yep. from the hand flamer, which is eight fives. Yep. And so that's two. That's also so four. three wounds all told. Nothing and nothing. Okay. So two wounds. So uh, I assign them to the closest guys. That's these two. Blub, blub. So that will probably take them out of assault range. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, guy. I, seriously, I don't get it. It's first off, yeah, that was deep strike. And you roll 2d6 for charge range. Yeah. Yeah. It's not six inches. All right. Come on, Sean, get your head in the game. Let's do it. So here's my casualties. I've lost all these gene stealers. Not too bad. And those guys. Rin's lost just one assault squad. And he thinks he's going to win against these Shrikes over here. And I don't think the Shrikes are okay. giving it up Come that he's easy. Shoot the Shrikes. Here's four or uh, five pistols. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, three hits. Toughness is four. Uh, it's four hits. Four hits. What did I say? Three hits. Okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Okay. Uh, two, two wounds. Two wounds from the pistols. And I also have an okay. Infernus pistol. Right. So that's two wounds. Do that. Hit. Okay. So that'll pike one. Okay. So, all right. And that's closest. So I'll take this mm -hmm. guy down here. Blink. And I have Lamartis with his pistol. Lame Artes. That's how they teased him in school. But okay, that, more that more just made him that. angrier. So he's like, he's like, I'm not, mom, dear mom. <laughs> I'm not quitting chaplain school. They're making fun of me. They call me lame artes. That's why he has a special ruler. He gets really mad. That's right. Somebody That's right. Home. In fact, it fills me with burning hatred. Love always. Your cuddly, wuddly, tuddly. Lemmy. <laughs> Lemmy. <laughs> Fantastic. So you never, see, you never see the lighter side in 40K. Where's, where's the families? Where's the kids? Can Space Marines have kids? No, Do no. they have like some massively genetically enhanced gonad? Hold on, here come the failed charges. Okay, go ahead. I, d I don't think you can I fail this one. Let me get rid of my wound counter. Okay, go ahead. All right, that makes it. All right, so don't, don't, just don't, don't move them on camera. Let's just roll them. Okay, so now over here. I'm sorry, wh which one's next? What, what are you oh, doing next? Let's do that one okay, next. I was hoping you would forget it. No. Never. Rin's, Rin's back in the groove now. Five! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, that's awesome. Are you yeah. kidding me? Unless oh, jump pads you're kidding. The next pads? You're kidding. I don't know. Uh, maybe they do. Maybe you should check that. I'll check it in a minute. Okay. We'll Sounds good. Um, I don't think these, but they, it is difficult to get up there, mm -hmm. right? Because there's only one guy at the bottom. Okay, seven. You know what? I, I don't know how this works. Hold, just all right, so um, find out what special thing jump packs give you for assaulting. You can re-roll the charge distance. So like, since I filled it over there, I'm going to Okay, right, the five. Okay, he just re-rolls it, and he gets an eight. I made it. Oh, rats. I thought I was going to be able to run away. 
run away satisfactorily for at least a turn. Okay, this is Dave. Hi. An expert. <laughs> Thank goodness an expert is here, yeah. right? Okay, go ahead. Talk Damn about it. talk about Tyranids in 6th edition. Go ahead. Um, I think Tyranids got a whole lot better in 6th edition than they were in 5th. Okay, but does better mean better is you in, should get you, buy your Tyranids with confidence? You should buy your Tyranids with confidence, definitely. Um, All right. Should people buy this particular army because it's awesome? Of course. That's awesome. Great. <laughs> um, the reasons I think they got better are two or threefold. Uh, number one, fearless. Yeah. Fearless. Right. No longer hinders you. You don't have a unit of 30 gaunts. Hit five Terminators, you know, the Terminators squish five of them and, or ten of them, and then ten more get killed because their armor's garbage and they lost by that much because they couldn't hurt the Terminators. Now, you send 30 Gaunts against five Terminators, knowing full well they may die, and it's going to take three or four turns for the Terminators to do it. In the meantime, they will do nothing else for the rest of the game while the rest of your bug army moves all over the table and eats everything and does what it's supposed How to How it was supposed to work. Right. Okay. Um, thing two is wound allocation, just because of the way you can move things and actually hide part of your unit. It's, people overlook how easy it is to actually hide. I mean, this train here, you could put 30 gaunts behind here with two or three sticking out. And in fifth edition, if I could see these two or three, I could wipe out the whole unit with firepower. Now I can only kill those two or three, and the other 27 behind the building that I can't see are totally safe. Right. Um, and then the double force orb chart so thing. Yeah. That's probably Okay, the so last thing. you have unlimited resources to make your Tyranid army. Tell me where the Force Org doubling would help you. So uh, what would you run? I, I like to write up a lot break of it. Lists break it, break it, Dave. <laughs> and, um, if if I had the ambition to do it, there's a Tyranid list you could do with four flying hive tyrants and I think four Turvagons, and then the rest is Gaunts and stuff. And you basically start with like 90 Gaunts on the table, and four Turvagons with the ability to make more. And so Ormagants or Termagants? Both. Both. Uh, just so Gaunts of whatever gaunts species. Gaunts of whatever, and the Turvagons. Because I love 90 Ormagants. And then, and then the Turvagon, and then the Turvagons can make more of the the Termagants. Right. I'd, I'd and, love a Turvagon right about now. And so then it would swarm. You've got all of that just swarming all over the table, plus the four Turvagons themselves are monstrous creatures. And then you've got the flying hive tyrants basically left you alone. You would take two. I would take four. You would take four? I would take four. Monstrous flying creatures are fun because okay, they're hard I'm to ready. shoot. Hard what about to harpies? Ahead. I'm not impressed Still? with harpies. Still harpies. Oh, harpies! Why couldn't you get better? Harp, harpies is the one place I probably wouldn't go. I would probably okay, go there you with go. The flying harp what point cost would the harpies need to be for you to go? Wow, because right now they're like one fifty, right? Something like that. Um, okay, go ahead. What slot are they? They're fast. They're fast. Take shrikes. Take gargoyles. I like both of those. You know right. what? Maybe if they were 100 points. Okay. Bring All right. 100, 110. Then I'd, then I'd bring a harpy probably. All right. Thank you very much, Dave. No problem. Dave and Tom are about to play a game, but you won't get to see it. You won't get to see it. You've got to be down here in the bush leagues with me and Ren going, let's look it up in a rule book. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so up, More man? rolling. Hammer the rest Whoa, time. easy now. I got uh, hypnotic Whoa. gaze going on here. So add D6 to your leadership. I got 15. You got 14. One guy in base contact loses his attacks. And I don't know who that is. Is anyone good? Power fist guy. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Um, just so I lose all my attacks, right? Okay. Yeah, you lose your attacks. Okay. Yep. So I do not get hammer rack then. So let's just do this. Um, that is four. Okay. So five up to save. Awesome. One wound. So one guy dies at that initiative step. Okay. Goodbye. Clink. Yeah, I don't know if I should have ran out of that or what. The lord goes. That's one of the reasons why. The what lord? The bruised lord. Okay, He's fantastic. Next. He has four attacks. And here they come, looking for threes with weapon skill seven. That's all hits. Looking for rendings, he's strength five. Nothing! One rending hit. One rending hit. So 
So I'll feel no pain on a five. Guy. Okay, Storm Shield guy. He's good. Saves it. He loves it. He's like, oh, Storm Shield, I love you so much. Oh, His I, wife's yeah, like nagging at him. You never do this. He's like, Storm Shield. Storm Shield. He holds a Storm Shield up. Daddy, can you help me with my homework? Storm Shield. <laughs> he gets saves in real life. The boss is like, hey. Okay, Rin's looking up some of his rules here. So we're ready to do a combat. He made it into all the combats. This is the one we're doing. Okay, I'm ready. I lost one guy from impact hits. Okay, so are we in initiative step six yet? Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I have my one guy. Yeah, you're, you're still, yes. Two hits. One wound. One wound. Made it. Ah. Okay. Yellow is the power weapon. Okay, I'm ready. The force weapon. Um, yeah, weapon, weapon skill, skill six. Five. Okay, yeah, so they're not seven. Mmm, he could whiff. He's in whiffing range. Look at all that. Look at all that gone. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. All right. Strength so, five. Uh, wow. Um, it's majority toughness, so to be five toughness, because it's tied, right? Yeah, no, that's, no how, that's how it is. It's toughness five. Okay, so just the one then? Okay. Oh, so just one wound? Just one four? Wound. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, but that was a power weapon wound, right? No. No? I didn't wound okay. with the yellow. So, the Broodlord power. saves. Okay. Yay! Huskvaten. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's, that's it. Is that a wash? Did I just get a wash? Oh, no, I lost by one. Yeah. Nine? They make it. They love it. They wish they could have some more. They're not afraid of you. They're like, we saw what happened to the other guys. Okay, I'm ready. This one here? Okay, go ahead. What's your initiative? My initiative is three. Three? Okay. I think this is just going to be me dying. You know, we're just going to skip this one. Okay, we're back. And here are the what's it's guys? The Shrikes, Shrikes and the Death versus Company. Death Company, which could, it's probably going to be very bad for me. Uh, the only saving grace here is I have Lash Whips all around. And, uh, but I no longer am fearless. So that's kind of a big deal. But I have Leadership 10, so I have to make a fear check first, because they cause fear, which I pass with a 9. And my initiative is 4. What do you got? Don't say 5, don't say 5, don't say 5. Say five. Um, Lamartus is say six, five. and everybody else is four. Okay, good. Whew. All right, well, come on, Lamartes, let's go. Okay. See, he does a lot better in French. Because his name is... The Tuesday. All right, he's got six attacks. At strength. Oh, no, he's a... Uh, I think he's initiated. Oh, come on. Lower come on, Ren. Because of the it. mall? Yeah. Okay, well, let's look it up. Here we go, looking stuff up again. Okay, here comes Lamarte, so has six attacks. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's four hits. Yeah. And then the hatred, or whatever yep. it is. Righteous indignation, or whatever they call it. <laughs> Bad traffic manners. Mm -hmm. I'm so ready. He's, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't cut off a chaplain in traffic, because strength. they get to reroll hits when he tries to strength run seven, off eight, the road. Strength eight? Seven. Okay, so two ups, so and then, so yeah, I just take five wounds, five that's wounds. bad. So, I'll just put five here. Okay, what's next? Um, that's it on initiative six. And then we're tied for the other initiative, so I move in like this. No, actually, we're not tied. Well, I think somebody dies first at Martis. Right, well, what would happen is at his initiative, this guy would die, and then this guy would move in. Okay. As part of the initiative pile-in step at okay. initiative four. Okay, so here we go. Okay, this is starting to look less good than I thought it was going to look. I've only got nine attacks. Uh, hitting on threes. What's your weapon skill? Okay. Okay, so that was six hits. Perfectly average. Well, not perfectly average, actually. A little bit above average. Okay, strength four. No saves. Looking for four ups. What now? <laughs> One wound. One okay, I'm going yeah. down. <laughs> Made it. No save though. Oh no. Storm save, shield? No. Um no. Just okay. feel no pain, which yeah. I found. So. Oh, okay, great. I you know, I like it how optimistic you are that you roll a three on feel no pain. 
and the first words out of your mouth are made it. That's awesome. I, I didn't know I didn't get That's awesome. Stuff. You didn't, you didn't prevent five attacks there. Okay, that's good. Okay, yellow is power weapon. Okay, weapon skill is five. Toughness is four. And they're all identical. So, right, yeah, so you need these. nine. This is for the chaplain, right? Yes. Oh, this is so bad. All right, strength, five. Okay. Four. Threes. Threes? Oh, three. Yep. Alright, let me grab these and re-roll. The death company one lets me re-roll hits anyways. Okay, yeah, so you got right. three power weapons. And then the rest are just normal. Well that's oh, okay, yeah, no, I could make it. I could live. Here, how many? Fives? Ten. Ten normal and then three. Okay. Okay, so ten, two, three. three. Okay, here comes our hammer. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, well. Oh, wow. Uh, two, four, five wounds. Oh, and one more. Yep, they're all dead. Okay, great. Uh, so that marks the end of turn two. Amazingly, that's all the farther we're getting each day. So um, we will see you guys tomorrow with the grand finale. And I think it's going to be full of thrills, chills, and spills. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sixth edition. Um, uh, and by the way, everyone wants to troll my Ron Paul shirt. You know what? Just don't worry about it, for pity's sake. So, uh, I'm not trying to push anything on anybody. I just, I like it. I like it. It makes me feel good inside. So anyway, 6th edition is bound to be the most long-running and beloved edition of Warhammer 40k. That is my prediction. It's uh, very, uh, it's very, it's rich, has a lot of texture. I think uh, they, they, wrote, they wrote it for the uh, slightly advanced wargamer. Really, it was not, it wasn't, you know, so simplified. So I think it'll, I think it'll, it's a little harder to learn. There's a lot more to it. And uh, I, for one, I'm having a great time with it. I think there's a lot more fun aspects now. At, at minimum, they shook up the game. And uh, I, I find that very exciting. Well, Ren and I aren't done yet, because if I somehow kill two more of his units, I think that'll be, I think that'll be it. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's only turn two. We still have four more turns. And boy, these two heavy hitter units with the characters in them, could just mop me up. I've, I have to bring my force to bear on them somehow. I can't, I can't hold back. I gotta get the Hive Tyrant in there. And yeah. I, think, I think the Hive Tyrant is where the hurt is gonna get put on with challenges and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna challenge Le Martes. <laughs> Le Martes. Woo. His name was Le Martes. He was a showgirl. All right, I'm out. Okay, now your turn. All right, so, um, my thoughts on the sixth edition so far, I just tell Sean is. Is this your uh, first game of it? Yes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> That's kind of why it's taken so long. So I'm like, oh, is everything different? Right. And, you know, and I have I've had a lot of things changes. Like, uh, like all my chaplains now, they have like a AP four plus two strength power weapon thing now. <clears throat> so like Lamart has got plus two strength. So I'm like, okay, right. he's different. Uh, very well, I accept. And plus two attacks. So that's why I like the death company and the jump pack so much. Uh -huh. Just because they got like three or four extra attacks. It's crazy. Right. But I'm really liking the maneuverability. Mm -hmm. Just kind of how it feels. Um, there's a lot more strategy to that. If you ask me. And then uh, I do actually like the random charge distance because it's not all, oh, I'm just going to math everything. Just automatic. Just, oh, I just need position this, blah, blah, blah. You still have to factor in. All. It is bell curve, though. It's like, you're unlikely to fail one under five, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, so yeah, those are kind of my first impressions. Um, I'm really looking forward What's to... What's your next 40K army? Chaos. Okay, Yeah, I've great. just been, I've been waiting for What chaos. 40K armies do you own right now? Um, I have my Blood Angels, obviously, as you can see right now. Um, I have a thousand points of Iron Warriors actually painted. Okay. But I just kind of halted them, just waiting. For, for chaos, to yeah, come out. chaos. Is that what you're gonna do coming. for your chaos army, um, Iron Warriors? I'm actually probably gonna finish up my Iron Warriors and then do Nurgle again because it's 
one of my favorite armies. <laughs> and okay. I had so much fun playing it last time that I just got to do it again. Yeah. Okay, great. Any other armies you have your eye on? Um, might make Dark Eldar army again because uh, those were a lot of fun. Um, after the chaos, I'm just going to focus on that for a while, see what comes out after that, and then, because I like the new stuff. I, I do. Um, but yeah, just right now, it's kind of my plan is chaos, and then okay. we'll see what happens. After that, that sounds good. Thanks, Rand.